everybody! Welcome back to a brand new episode of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond! In the last episode, we went to go catch the three trios of the lake. I don't know why I keep saying three instead of saying the trio of the lake. But yeah, we caught the trio of the lakes, had an annoying time against Metsprint, and then this episode, we're gonna tackle the Pokemon contest, and <coughs> there's a few things we also have to clear, uh, have to go do as well. So I'm not gonna spend too much time with the contest, I'm gonna at least do two rounds with it, but here we go. But like, yes, I do want to enter a contest, and I want to enter the beauty contest. Uh, I will enter the normal rank. Uh, please select uh, as well as this contest move. Okay, we're gonna select, obviously, a low bunny. Ooh. Uh, we're gonna go for the one that has a three hybrid, uh, three hearts. I don't really choose a ball. Uh, shoot, which ball capsule was it? I think it was this ball capsule. So depending on the sticker of your ball capsule, it does matter about this contest and how many points you can get. I also, I also have a straight up answer of like, I don't actually remember everything about this. Like, I, uh, we're gonna go into the, ooh, the contest style is actually pretty cute. I don't remember everything of what you're supposed to do in a contest, because I know they changed it from the original. Mika and Thumper. Dakota and Dots. A b -b -b barrel Oh, okay, we got a lot of... <laughs> we actually got three hearts for the sticker. <coughs> I think we got three big hearts. <laughs> yeah, that's funny, because it's my friend who uh, helped me make that, so... Okay. I hate rhythm games because the fact that of uh, I always suck at it, and I don't know when we really want to use the uh, contest move. Brilliant! Hey, it's just like the game. Uh, well, <laughs> this is actually kind of a little underwhelming. I'll be honest. you do want to use your contest move at some point. I just don't know when exactly you want to do it. I think we got more than enough points now, though. No! Shoot. Yeah, brilliant again. Well, whatever we're supposed to be doing, we're almost done. <laughs> this actually wasn't that long. I thought I missed that. Okay, that was it. At least for the first part, I think. Technically, I think this is considered the second part. Success! What a successful Super Contest show! <coughs> awesome, I think. To announce the star of the show. Ah, oh, I think we won! Let's go! Visual, dance, and move. <coughs> Brilliant, too fast that shoes though. Okay, so we didn't get into visuals. That's actually really good. <coughs> we won! Except the speed sticker A. Okay. Uh, you know what? We'll do another one! We'll do... I think Low Bunny also has cleverness uh, as it's, um, as one of the thingamajiggers, right? Yeah, so you know what? We'll do cleverness as well. But we'll do work up as well. Or... Yeah, we'll do... We'll do hybrid. We'll do work up as well. Again. We'll do the same Pokeball. Let's see how well the Pokeball does here. I think we got, like, a lot of uh, in visual, we did pretty good, honestly. I'll be honest, I actually don't know much about the Pokemon contest. I've never done- I've done them once in the original, but I've never done them in this version. I do know in the later ranks, like- ooh. That's- that's actually pretty good. I do know in the later ranks, yeah, it gets- um, the judges gets a little bit more stricter, so you want to get a little bit better. Getting this 
uh, ball caps and stickers are very, very important. I will also say this, at least in this version of the game, you only have to worry about, you don't have to worry about a certain move being a certain type, because, yeah, certain uh, moves in the original used to be where uh, they were either cute, beauty, clever, or smart, or tough, and stuff like that. In this, you don't have to worry about that. You just have to uh, keep focused. I'm gonna actually use my contest move after we pass the little mark and see if that's better. I know it doesn't wear it. If we miss a note, they will ignore it. Okay, it's positive now. Yeah, we're positive right now, so that's good. <laughs> on. Can Love Money win two of its contests? I don't actually know what you get if you 100% the contest either. We got some hall points, let's see how well we did. It's time to announce the star of the show. We won again! Nice! Do, 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 do. Oh, I did super. I did a lot better in the dancing over here. Oh, my move was could have been better. <laughs> so yeah, you do get you do get the stickers of each of the contests you do enter in. Uh, I really don't know how much the contests like. Ugh. I don't know much about the contests and how they work, so I wish I could be helpful in that scenario, in that way, but I sadly am not. Okay, but either way, there is some stuff that we can do now. Like, like I said, um, in this game, we have to have seen every single Pokemon, and you might be wondering, how do we c uh, complete that if we don't have uh, the other box art Pokemon? Palkia. Well, if you come here to Celestic Town, to Cynthia's little cottage. Well, hello, you look well. I did some research on my own since that spot of trouble last time. Mount Coronet acting up had me very concerned too. Well, this is what I found in the shrine, a book. It's quite old, see for yourself. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it reads, Pokia, the Pokemon that binds the spatial dimensions. It seems that there were two Pokemon in ancient Sinnoh. They respectively, re respectively stood as symbols of time and spatial dimensions. <coughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, if you're playing Shiny Pearl, she will show you the Pokedex entry of uh, Dialga and vice versa. So that is how you would see them. And with that being said, one of the things we're going to do here is the Waterfall thing, Majigger. I don't actually remember where all the areas for Waterfall is. I think there's only... What, two areas with waterfalls, if I'm correct? I believe I am correct on that, right? <coughs> Should be. Should be only two areas with waterfall. Well, doesn't matter, we're about to find out. <sighs> it's here that has waterfall. It's right near Heart Home City that has a waterfall as well. Uh, there is two more things we're probably going to be doing after this because yeah sadly this episode is going to be a little short because i just wanted to show off the pokemon contest and there's nothing oh no we found it a metal plate i think we already have one actually <laughs> the rightful bearer of a plate draws from the plate it holds okay i don't think we can reread those which kind of sucks i kind of wish we could i don't know if we could but either way let's keep going up i'm so sleepy <laughs> Hi, Muna. Muna, you're kind of pushing me. Hey, Muna, you messing with my mic. Okay, let's see. What is this? A jar of wave essence. I believe that's to get you an Azura Rail. An Azura Rail? I believe that's what that does. Okay, we do want to come back. I'm actually going to fly to Sunny Shore City. I think it's going to be the fastest way. <laughs> So there's actually a trainer of interest we might have missed. Uh, it's over at the hotel resort area. <laughs> yeah, 
the only reason I actually forgot about this is because I don't. It's a water type Pokemon that I think you can only find if you're surfing. And we didn't do a whole lot of surfing of running into the wild Pokemon. Really? Actually. Hold on. I want to see something. Because I know it's not in this water, but I think there might be another particular wild Pokemon we can find that's just right here. Am I correct in that? No. It's a we go instead. There is another Pokemon we can we can encounter while surfing, and I want to know if we can find it. Because if we can, that would be great. <laughs> it shouldn't be too uncommon if it is here or not, because it is. Well, <laughs> not what I was looking for, or didn't know it was in here, but. Yeah, Tentacruel is one of the wild Pokemon you can encounter in the, in the, in the water while surfing. Uh, I thought Tentacruel was going to be part of the next episode because there is a trainer in Route 223 that uses one. But hey, I'm, I'm okay with getting it early. I don't mind. Now if I can find Tentacruel, that would be great. Speak of this devil! Ah, uh, you know what? I should have caught Tentacruel. Added. Aw. Oh. Dang. Missed opportunity. Okay, well, you know what? I can catch this. I can catch this one. <laughs> that is so sleepy. Ah! Uh, quick ball! One. Two. Uh, three. That was kind of easy. I am kind of shocked. Oh yeah, so there's one more Pokemon that we might end up missing, and it is the Riolu. I don't know what trainer uses it, so if you want to cut, if you want the Riolu for your decks, you do want to hatch it from the egg, because I really don't remember which trainer has it. Uh, let's go to Valor Lakefront. I think it's in this hope this area. There should be. I think it's switched every day. Well then, uh, hold on, give me a second. Okay, we're going to go to 218 instead. <laughs> there would have been two particular trainers in that restaurant who could have had it. Who could have had one of the Pokemon I'm looking for. Thankfully, its evolution is in Route 223. Thankfully. But let's see if we can find it in a while. I will cut ahead until we find it, so hold on. Ah, here we go. Finison. Finneon. Yeah, <laughs> Finneon, one of the po one of the easiest Pokemon that is always forgotten. I thought we would run into it by now. Probably one of the fishermen at the on the way to um, Sunny Shore City would have had one, but I didn't find any of them. So, ooh, that's a critical catch. But yes, here we go. <laughs> and actually, that is. As of right now, we should be caught up with every single Pokemon. Every other Pokemon that we have yet to encounter or add to our Pokedex is going to be through Route 223, uh, Victory Road, or at the Pokemon League. <laughs> uh, let's see, we still have one more thing to go to, I believe it's one more. Oh no, we still have two more things. I actually forgot. I forgot there was an area up here that we never explored. I will cut to that area right now. Hold on. Okay, here we go! Finally! Route 215! Golly, it took me a while to get over here. This is so far away. Alright, I think there was a TM that could be found here. Don't turn to me, please. I think it is right here. I think this is TM Ice Beam? No, this is a Mental Herb! <laughs> I don't remember what that one does. I think this is a TM. A uh, bottle of HP up! Oh, I am wrong on every account. Okay, game, thank you. This one? TN13 Ice Beam! There you go! If you didn't want to go uh, buy it from the TN store, you can get a free one right here. Uh, what does the Mental Herb do? The holder shakes up. Okay, so if I were to use Wrap on me, you could. I would get off of that. But that's only a one time item, so use it well. And now there's one more place to go for Waterfall, I believe. 
I believe this is the last one. I don't think there's anywhere else other than a Pokemon League. I could be wrong. I usually am. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I think this should be the last uh, place. Okay. But either way, let's go over there and get her done. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted by something. <coughs> but yeah. Here we go! We're almost done with this episode! Ah, uh, I probably should use our Max Hotel. Actually, we should probably use one anyways, because we're going to be surfing. I was like, man, that mess spread actually took so many of my uh, Max Repels away from me. And I am still salty about it. But yes, there we go. There is the waterfall! <laughs> man, I was like, I gotta say, after this episode, we're heading off to the Pokemon League. And that means we're almost done with a uh, main main uh, with a main story of this game. We're almost done and over with this. Can you guys believe it? We've actually this has been like kind of a long ride, honestly. I gotta say, and I'm kind of sad to see it come and go. A bottle of carbos, eh, not really that worth it, but I could probably use it on a bombus no. But either way, with that being said and done. We are going right back to Sunny Shore City, because that is all we can do right now. We're officially done. No more areas to explore. And hold on, sorry. I want to actually see if I can give uh, bonus to those, H those vitamins. Yes, I can give that, and I can give this. Okay, good. It doesn't need the speed, but it does need the HP up. But yeah, with that being said and done, in the next episode, we're finally tackling Route 223. Oh, it doesn't tell us. But we are tackling Route 223 and most likely the Pokemon Elite at the world. The Victory Road as well. So, with that being said and done, this is Pokeash Able, and I'm gonna see y'all in the next episode. Peace out, guys.